Okay, right about now, you're back with the Head Movement TV team, and this is another episode of Watch Your Mouth. Walla your mala. Walla your mala. Tala bala. <laughs> yeah, so obviously everybody knows what we're going to be talking about. Obviously, Conor McGregor and Khabib, what happened in the octagon, and inevitably what happened outside of the octagon. And back in the octagon. <laughs> Again, so um, obviously there's always been uh, a negative... Just atmosphere surrounding this fight, you know what I mean? From before, even the pressers with the whole Dali incident, then the um, the pressers and the, the controversial statements that were coming from Connor. Mm -hmm. That always comes from Connor, but it just seemed like, as Dana White said, it was a lot more darker yeah, yeah. this time. So, you know what? I'm gonna. S I know um, Brad is just itching to go about <laughs> this. So, you know what? I'm just gonna give him his podium, just take it away. So okay. We're not going to talk about the fight first, we're going to talk, talk about, about the other fight let, first. Let, yeah. You know what? The other fight and the let other Brad fight. Let Brad speak, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he just likes to speak, yeah? Now, uh, firstly, yeah, right, like I say, um, we've, we've generally spoke about little bits and bobs of this before. In There, there is free speech, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, but there is limits to free speech, so you can't speak about people's colours, um, sexuality, etc. You know, like... There's, Politics. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of limits to it. Now, I understand trash talk, because it does sell a fight, let's be honest. Conor McGregor, in the... Everybody's like looking at it in a bad way now, yeah. but look at the level that he's elevated the UFC to. Yeah, of course. In Khabib. elevating himself. Khabib's richer as well now. A hundred percent. Look yeah. Um, at the followers. Yeah. That That's plain to see. The night before this fight, three million. Yeah. The night after. He's well, even million. now, he's only 11, 11 million. Eight million people. <sighs> What are we like two to three days after? Dana White. You know, yeah. Going like, really? Yeah, Khabib? like, like, like they've created a monster. Yeah. Like inadvertently though. Yeah. Uh, sorry anyway, to get off the what's it called. Yeah. Like free speech, but it does have its boundaries. Now, if you're gonna sp you, you know like as 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 a man, yeah. you know, like as if people generally, you know, growing up, if people disrespect you, not just from where we come from, just in general from from mm. if people disrespect you, it doesn't feel good. No. Yeah. So what it is, is Connor's better at speaking than yeah, Khabib. Of course. But what we found out is Khabib's better at fighting than Connor. Yeah. So is it okay for Connor to just verbally bully Khabib? And again, with no limit. Yeah. Because bringing his dad into it, yeah. bringing his religion into it, like, Khabib understands all of these did, things. Did, this, is, this is the thing that I want to get out. Can we actually say that Conor McGregor brought his religion into I, it? I think, I'm not going to over-exaggerate what yeah. Connor said either. Because I'm not gonna say he was. There is a lot worse things that uh, people out there say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With Colby Covington. A hundred. I feel like yeah, yeah. No, no, Colby Covington in two tweets. Yeah. Has done more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, hundred percent. He's not Colby. So I'm not gonna over exaggerate it. But yeah. we knew what the rhetoric of your mad backwards cunt was. Yeah. We knew what. Offering him being Muslims, was, we, 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 we knew we, what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. We've heard that before. We knew what he yeah. was doing, 100%. Yeah. So he knew, every, he he knew what he was doing. Well, that's the main yeah. thing. Yeah. And one thing that I'll say, being a huge fan of UFC, a huge fan of sports, when I'm watching sports, should I be sitting watching a press conference, whether there's going to be trash talk or not, but because I'm a Conor McGregor fan, a huge Conor McGregor Me fan, too. Me huge, too. huge, huge Conor McGregor Me fan, mm -hmm. If, like like yourself, you know what I'm saying. So and you, and yourself, yeah, Momo, yeah, yeah. like you support Khabib in this fight, but that doesn't mean that you haven't been a Conor McGregor fan. It's not every... like football; you can't just pick yeah, one. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. They don't like, fight every week. Uh, we <laughs> had countless conversations saying, to be honest, we prefer them both to win, and and, yeah. and we don't want to see a loser. If you know what I'm saying, but it's like, should I be watching that press conference then, waiting for something to get said about? Something mm -hmm. I feel deeply and I've got love for. Yeah. Should should that be a, 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 a even an option? Because these two men are fighting in a the professional fighters. Do you know one thing I will say? You, you know, um, obviously this is regarding the whole incident that took place after as well. Like if you think about it, Khabib stuck to his word because he says when when people say, "Oh, how do you feel about this?" He says, "I still relax, brother." But <laughs> when cage close. Mm -hmm. He stayed relaxed before the fight, and it like yeah. once the fight got on, that's when it becomes open season. Like he's in fight mode, he's not in walk around mode now. This is fight mode. So obviously, 
D- uh, what Esposo got said, Dylan Dan Esposo called him, uh, was it? Yeah, that's happened. No, that's been that's, released today. Yeah. That's, so, that's the next level of yeah. things. That's now. been released today by yeah. TMZ. Yeah, American channel who are saying and they're standing by that Dillian da- Dennis said him you fucking <laughs> Muslim rap, or okay. fucking Muslim something. Yeah. Now obviously we don't know if it's true. He's one hundred percent said that, so we can't crucify a man. So we want to be careful there. But one hundred percent. But this is what TMZ have said, so we're going by. So yeah. any opinions that we give now is based, based on, the TMZ on report. yeah. So it would be like, all right, if he has said it. This is what our opinion on it, yeah, and if yeah. he hasn't said it, this would be a and no one for getting yeah. inside information like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I and mean, we'll just put this out there how, yeah. how reliable TMZ are, you like this idea. Yeah, that's yeah. that's you like, I don't know fully okay. like yo. Yeah. Now, I know they've got wicked access and they do all sorts, yeah. but what their agendas and that might be, I it's don't not, fully yeah. know. I'd be lying if I've said yeah. I follow TMZ. Like if it was MMA fighting on SBN or Ariel Helwani said it. Then I'm like, yo, he said it. Yeah, yeah. Because I know that your man's gonna fact check and this yeah. and that. So this is what TMZ said. But if he says that and call him a fucking Muslim rat, yeah. you're gonna have to fight him. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. This it's, is this is what then it is. Then he's completely fault because, yeah. to be honest, if anybody was to be racist to me, you know, even this, if anybody was to speak about my dad, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? There was things that Conor, Mas- yeah. Conor McGregor said throughout these press conferences. One of the one of the major things that that a lot of people haven't picked up on. He threatened his life. Yeah. He yeah. threatened his actual life. Like, he did, he did. you know, yeah. he said, if you don't turn up to the cage, yeah. watch what happens yeah. to your people. Now, like now, he's now he made that. numerous, yeah. Yeah. numerous. That's, that's too much. Even that's like, too much, like, man. You see the, the religion thing and, and, and stuff like that, like, a lot of it was debatable. Did he say it or didn't he say it? But he said that clear as crystal yeah. if you don't turn up to this fight you your family yeah. you know what's gonna happen to you back home now that's his even said part. even said on the, on the air of Helwani phone interview goes these like need to watch where they sleep at night that's not freedom of speech now bro. That's not, no way because freedom of speech doesn't mean that there's is freedom from consequence mm, you can yeah. say what you want yeah. wicked all right then safe we're gonna agree say what you want but then you can't then then a man might do something yeah. if i go compton and start saying the wrong words I can yeah. say freedom of speech, but he's gonna have the freedom to do what yeah. he wants. And, and, then, that. and then there's a clip of him in the cage saying, "Oh, you know, it's just business. It's only business. No, it's not. It's personal. You can't decide yeah. because yeah. you yeah. made it personal." Do you no, know what no, that, that's what you've just said. There is very important. It's not Conor McGregor's position to just decide the boundaries and barriers. Mm-hmm. So it's all right. I'll talk about your mom. I'll talk about your religion. I'll talk about everything that I know. Right, that is going to affect you deeply, you know what I'm saying, mm. right? I'm going to do all of that, but you can't go too far and do this, or you can't do this, or, nah. Mm. What do you mean it's only business now? You've got the reaction you wanted out of the individual, and again, when I'm saying this, I'm saying this as a huge Conor McGregor fan, yeah. but it's like, sometimes in life, you know, things catch up with you, and yeah. this situation here has caught up with Conor Especially McGregor. Especially the fight game. Yeah. Definitely, because the, 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 the fight game, the fight game, like you were saying before yeah. the fight, you wanted Conor McGregor to win because of the elevation. Of the, and I totally understand your point yeah. of view. If Conor McGregor wins, right, the elevation, the story, yeah, the story. But but fighting doesn't care about the story. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. We saw that countless times. The story may have been better for some people if that person that's, won. That's what it's but, banana skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but, history but, of banana skin. But yeah. that, this is the reality of life. And what you're doing, and what you're saying, like, us, like, like you know he's a devout, he's devout to his religion, you know that. So what people think, right, is it's like, it's like it's okay to just dis- dismiss it because they don't believe, yeah, they yeah. don't believe it, and, and they may believe in evolution or whatever they believe yeah. in, which everybody's entitled to their own opinion. It doesn't mean you're allowed to be just disrespectful like somebody, somebody that, coming up and insulting somebody for not believing like I'm yeah, sure so, I, don't, I don't feel like that but, but that's, going to what you said about obviously um, how I wanted McGregor for the evolution of the sport but I kind of I kind of like caught on to something after this fight like um, it was Rose Nama Yuna said it first she said we're coming to the end of the age of all this trash talking there needs to be a switch there needs to or we need to go back to, to it being serious and I feel like, you know what, even if Conor McGregor would have won this fight, people are, are getting a bit sick of this show. They're getting a bit, it's it's only cool. Because what he did, it's feel like what he did this time was a bit far, and people noticed that. It's because the same like thing said. over and over again. No, but threatening a man's family and, and threatening, 
Like, he said things like, I'd walk into the favelas in Brazil with Aldo, but they're yeah. unrealistic. You yeah, know it's yeah. the WWE yeah, effect. Yeah. When he said what he said, yeah, right, it sounded like he had something yeah, behind it, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And he was saying, it, like, to me, right, like, then, whether Khabib wanted to or not, yeah, right, if he took them accusations serious, yeah. he's got to go to the octagon, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah. he's a fighter, he's going to go anyway. But if you're threatening a man's family, you know, you didn't just threaten him. That means when you say your people, you're you threatening his mom, his dad. Yeah. You know, like they need to watch it. These are like, serious know. words. Yeah. I think, I think it's because it's been played into too much. This trash talking edge, yeah. what you're saying, and like you know, the owners of the um, UFC now are like WWE. They're like yeah, the yeah, WWE yeah, 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 yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. they, like they actually copied the model of the WWE. Yeah, see, it's it's actually actually good 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 money. Yeah, yeah. So. So the WWE model is is all this trash talking yeah. and, and saying all of this, but what WWE doesn't have is real fights at yeah. the end of this yeah, 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 at the yeah. end of the what's it called? So it, it's like there's a the different consequence. And that's why um, Vince McMahon says to Dana White, "You can't do it like me." And Dana White said, "Why?" He goes, "Because you can't control the outcome of the fight. You can't. That's, that's why it. it works over here. Yeah, yeah. And this is what happened with Ronda Rousey and." Maybe it's happening with Conor McGregor, but go into the actual the actual fight now. We all thought the fight. The actual fight. fight. We got to sell the fight. We got to sell the fight now. We all thought it was. We've got the fight. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry to go, go, on, go, on, go, go, on. go on. Before the uh, we go into the fight now, quick question. To so, so I yeah. Overall, whose fault is the situation that happened? Would you, in what, your opinion, what actual situation? How how it ended? Yeah. Right. Who would you say his fault that is? Dylan Dennis. If he said what he said, if he was swearing, calling him a, a Muslim rat or whatever, then it's his fault. I'm gonna blame it on him, and I'm gonna give Khabib a break because he's been getting prodded and prodded and prodded, and through the whole time he kept his composure and he said, "Wait until the cage doors close." So this is what he said. So he's in fight mode. He's just had a fight, and then somebody from the crowd took it to that next like, level. No, not even the crowd. The opponent's corner. The team, yeah. Corner took it to the yeah, next so level. Yeah. So if, if he did say, it, <coughs> sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> so what? I can't disagree with that. I'll say everyone, and I mean Dana. For the, he never did nothing to Connor for the, the bus incident. He did not pretend always oh, the worst day ever. And then they promoted the shit out of that <laughs> yeah. video. They promoted the shit out of the video. Uh, obviously Connor for all the mad shit that he's done. Khabib for the mad reaction though. Even though it's, I understand why he did it. He still mm -hmm. shouldn't have done it. He still shouldn't have jumped over and and he, his his old man said. He shouldn't have done it, you which know. Is, like, uh, which is where yeah. I was going to go. And, and even where at fault, <laughs> and like head movement, and all the other media channels, because we yeah. posted the bus incident. Yeah. We did, we contributed to it being a mad thing. We didn't, there's not many of us that were saying, yo, I'm not watching this fight, I'm boycotting this, they've taken it too far. We enjoyed yeah. it. We did, really, yeah. we enjoyed it. And, and and we took from it, so they've all got to, they've all got to take a bit of it on the channel. A hundred percent. They've all got to take it too. I think they all went a bit mad and blaming Khabib on that night. And I think it was emotional. And Errol Henwani has apologised. Not apologised, but said, I regret going in black. But it was the first response. But now looking back at it. And that can happen. He shouldn't, have done, done. he shouldn't have. I'm not, I'm not making excuses for what he's done. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah. saying, I understand. He's okay. a human being that has took. Oh, yeah. He's took a, ever had a, a fight. Anybody that's had a fight. Yeah. yeah, right. When you're in a fight, you know, like. And you've just won that fight. The emotion that comes over you, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. your adrenaline is going out. You yeah. know what? Like the crazy emotion, and and the last thing you would need then yeah. is to somebody on the opposition yeah. is to, to say you know, to take you to a, another a, level, yeah, like, ruining your moment. You've just won, and then you hear that. And like so, I said, he's been taking. A, a verbal beating has been made to look small on TV. Yeah. Called his dad a quivering. I shit on bus. Uh, yeah, it's been going everywhere. And, then, and, and they're saying I shit on bus, and then the bus thing get, keeps getting played. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. even so, what what upset Khabib the most with the UFC? What he said about all of it is he goes, yeah. "Why would the UFC giving Connor the two belts?" Yeah. Because Tony Ferguson brought his own belt. I don't mind but that. See how it was spun around. Yeah, he's a dumbass. Yeah. He's a crazy <laughs> fucker. That's why. But uh, no, but. Dana was saying, pass Connor his belt, like yeah. get, get the belts. So the UFC were involved in Disrespected that. Disrespected their, their own one. But yeah. okay, um, let's yeah. go to the fight. We can go back to this. Yeah, we yeah, can yeah. go back to this. Now, obviously, we thought it would be a certain thing. Like if it's standing up, it's Connor. If it's on the ground, 
it's Khabib. Like, everybody said, like, Khabib literally can't strike. Like, so it was, like, placed into my mind that, okay, he can't strike because he's got no chance. But you know what I've seen? It looked like in this fight that Khabib's hand speed was was quicker than Conor McGregor's. At this point, uh, mm. at, at certain points it was, mm. but because of things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. of things. So now I say if they had a kickboxing match, just kickboxing, Conor McGregor wins. Yeah. If it was just kickboxing, even though Khabib did do better, way better than a lot of people thought, and his boxing, point, and his yeah, boxing yeah. went shit. Like, like he was keeping the chin down for the yeah. most part, and, and the overhand come. So, but I think that the the game plan that Khabib needed worked very, very quickly. We spoke about it yeah. countless times before, and we had a joke about it on yeah. the um, last podcast about shoot straight yeah. from the locker room. My advice was shoot. Yeah, yeah like, as soon as that, like me and me and me and Mama would had countless like f- funny jokes about the situation. And to me, yeah, right, I don't think you see when we see Conor McGregor come out of the second round and um, Khabib lands the shot. I think Khabib was able to do that because of what's happened in round one, mm. because he's took him down, because Connor's felt him already on him and felt like, I can't have another five minutes no. of that. You come out because he knows, he knows, we, like, as much as they want to say he's worked on his cardio or all of this sort of stuff, yeah, he's right? Yeah. We know after round, say, rounds one and two, right, unless he's completely peppered Khabib. Yeah. We know, yeah, right, it's only downhill from Connor for there, yeah, right. He's yeah. never stopped someone past the second round. You, we don't. And you can see why. Like, and you can see that's why. That's fighting style yeah. and that's how he does it. And you can see why. And I just think he, <laughs> he knew if I'm like that again for another five minutes, you know, I'm two rounds down. I'm not going to be able to knock him out no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be tired. And he came out and he was panicking because when you're yeah. seeing him throw shots, he's completely out of range. He's through a diving knee, like... Yeah. Look, uh, with his, in a way that I've never saw Conor nah, McGregor. It's a get away from me. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's, 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 it's not, it, it wasn't, so. It's Khabib's wrestling, it seems to um, throw off all strikers anyway, like they, they start getting. Uh, it happens, I, elite wrestlers do that. Yeah. Chael Sonnen dropped Anderson Silva yeah. more than once. Yeah. Yeah. From yeah. Anderson Silva didn't know, because Anderson Silva was petrified of getting taken, taken down again. Because the whole, the whole round's gone. Yeah. When you get taken down by some of these guys, your whole round is gone. If he's took you down, like he took Connor down in the first 25 seconds of round one, yeah, 30 seconds in the first whatever, right? Connor didn't get back up. That was the end of the round. Yeah. Do you know how scary that is for Connor now in the next round? Because if he got that, yeah, that's yeah, 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 it's only yeah, yeah, yeah. End of yeah. round three, we're watching the fight yeah. as well. Yeah, that's why he said it's only business. Um, because that's where he's defeated. Yeah. Because most of that round, even though he won that round, on the judges' scorecards, the yeah. judges gave him that round as well. So that's officially the first round could be last year, right? In his whole career. He knows, he knows, yeah, right? That got no more. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm, it's not gonna get better for me. I haven't yeah. got I didn't even though I was on my feet that round there, yeah, right? Yeah. My cardio didn't go up. I was still draining my energy. And you, look, his look how dying, he is. And look at him, he's arguing yeah. with the ref. Yeah, yeah, he, but he's just given, even though Khabib's stamina is better than Connor's and yeah. condition is better, Connor's just giving him an extra 15% by telling him that. Yeah, because he comes out at the start of the fourth round and he comes out and that the drive. look at his Yeah, face. no, no, Connor stopped a couple of takedowns in round he three. Didn't yeah, yeah. He didn't sit down. He didn't sit down. Yeah, no. And then, and then what? He didn't sit down, he stood the whole. Watch now, watch the power in the takedown that he takes yeah, kind of down the drive. Look at watch the, the drive yeah. in it. He's got no chance. Nah, it's a Brock Lesnar. Look, he, Look he knows, he yeah. knows now. He wants to touch, is this the round he wants to touch nah, gloves? Nah, the one before he wanted to touch gloves. No, 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 was the round before he was right, he tried to touch gloves, he went like, wants to be friends. He's like he was going to kick, I don't know if he wants, I can't tell was he doing a sneaky one or talk, fuck it. Okay, so let's just say. See, look, he lands the left there, but there's nothing left now, and which is what we said before the fight, if he takes him down, don't get me wrong, I pulled Connor, I'm not going to say that I never did that, because I expected Connor to be able to keep the range management. I expected Connor to be as serious about it as Khabib was. You said shoot straight from the locker room. I don't know what your plan was, kind of here, right? But if it was to stand in front of him like that, you was always going to get talked about. Kavanaugh said, Kavanaugh said, sorry, one. Go, 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 go. Kavanaugh said yesterday that the plan was when to get on the floor, you're going to get on the floor and just ride around that. Yeah, but now, basically. You can't ride around that because we won't just sit. He grinds. Now, but what, what, what he was saying as well, yeah, right? Obviously, that was the game plan. But if you notice about 10 seconds or so after, he says, but the plan wasn't to go to the ground. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. knew that, that at some point we're going to go to the ground. But it wasn't. Yeah. But I didn't see that urgency from Connor. Yeah. From because yeah. at one point, if if we went back to it now and watched that 
Yes. There's a point yet where Khabib is completely like. We can't see you. Oh, we can't see you. I mean, it was see you. But there's a point where, yeah. you know what I'm on about? Khabib's flat and it, and it looks like Connor can just go. Yeah, no, no, no. What Connor needs to do is push the head and go. And, and go back and reach yeah. over and reach over, over to, show, to show him something. To, because it was okay. the match. Okay, okay. Of, uh, okay. So, so that's brought me back to what I was originally going to say. Like, we've. We've grinded Connor into the ground now. Let's just throw a little bit of, of compliments his way. His takedown defense and wrestling, yeah, Jiu Jitsu, should I say, mm. has like leveled up dramatically since what we've normally seen. Like, what did Khabib say? Your wrestling is zero, but it's not. It's wrong. Yeah, no, you know what? It was, you know just, what it was a bad idea to try and meet Khabib at his own game. You know what? You have to give him respect anyway. Because he took this fight, yeah. this fight has got to be like, you know, like if he was gonna duck somebody for a while and, and get back to where he was, if you've had two years off. I, I don't think he thought he was duck worthy. I thought, I think, and from the game plan and how he's coming to the fight, I think he thought Khabib was a twat. He thought like, he I was that he that, was gonna obliterate him, yeah, and, and that, it weren't the case. The no, you know, it, do you know what it is? Even if you, even if he thought he was gonna be. No, it's a risky fight, 100%. Uh, no, uh, obliterate him and whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Um, you will go into the ground, fam. You yeah. haven't got good cardio. These are things, uh, unless you're delusional. A very usable fight. Really? No, very no but fight. unless you're delusional, these are things that you have to be able to see. Yeah. And he had to be able to see that if, if it was like this, for the amount of time it was, like... It's good that he choked him because he probably could have knocked him out on the feet in round five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was only he wasn't he wasn't. Um, he moved that same way that he did with Nate. Yeah, 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 yeah back, man. Back, yeah. Even in round three when he yeah, wins okay. it, you can see how like, it, look he hasn't got the neck. It's on the jawline. He's just had enough of it. Does he spit on him here? Or is he just shout at him? I don't know. No. There's a picture of Khabib shouting over him. Connor's not looking. Not that's looking. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, that's gonna be a. Yeah, yeah, that's a hard, that must have, I don't revel in any of them moments for no, fighters, yeah. like, but again, because of what you've said and done yeah. in the build up to this, it's kind of like... And he's never going to have done this to uh, Tony Ferg or, nah. or P Barbosa, anyone that he's beat, Khabib's really beat before this, yeah. he's totally spoke about how much of a gangster the geezer is. Yeah. That geezer goes and checks things See, before guy, he hits Connor. Yeah, 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 just a normal guy. But why would they we'll 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 Wait, one minute, one minute. We'll see. We'll see now. Do any of them interact with him? It's a bit mad. You can't tell now. They'd be pushed to the same side. Mm. You, 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 you wouldn't be a fan, apps. you wouldn't be that close, is he a rich fan? No, I don't think he's a fan. He's not no, a fan. But that's what the team have no. claimed, the guy in the Yeah, there's a saying, yeah, because that's the yeah. real violation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they're saying find him Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, because that's the real violation, because yeah. if we're being honest, to be jumping over isn't that bad. Yeah. Right? It's not that bad. We've saw that a million times. And the first guy that comes to hit him, while it's not great what he does, he comes face to face and gets hit. Yeah, not only that. hits him fully from behind. Not only that, yeah, right, if you notice, yeah, the first geezer that actually hits him has gone up to the geezer that he hit first. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. getting into that point about him hitting first, I don't feel like it was his fault, like nah. necessarily, because it's like kind of going back towards his yeah. own corner. Yeah, that's yeah, like all his first. It's kicked yeah. up. Yeah. Right. And it's like, it's like if I'm going back. Like, we're well, head movement. If one yeah. of us was to have a fight now and somebody yeah. jumped into our corner, yeah. right, and you're the fighter, putting myself in that position, I'm the fighter, and I jump on, on over the ring or onto the cage and or whatever, and, right, and the next minute, you know, somebody's next to me, yeah. but he's going towards that direction too. I've got him setting because he's going to knock me out as well. You get What's this? he going to do? Look what the rest of the team's yeah, doing. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to think this one's all right to give me a hook. Yeah, so right. everybody's yeah. saying that Connor, yeah. but, oh, he was wrong for hitting the geezer. Look where the geezer was. Connor was retreating towards his own corner. Corner to go and get involved in, in what he hadn't started. The, the reason now people are like, I've got the moral high ground where Connor's concerned in that situation and why he's not getting like much support for it is because of what he did beforehand, because of the previous, what's it called? And the reason that Khabib and that are saying that the Red Geese is not part of their team yeah. is because that's the real serious yeah, violation yeah. of the night, bro. Now, um, do, we, do we feel that uh, Khabib... Namagomedov can potentially be the next huge cash cow for Dana White. Yeah, hundred percent. I think yes and no. Not, not, not kind of level. Not, not kind of yeah. level. Not because I level. think I think to be a 
Like, like the reason Mayweather, like the two biggest combat sports stars are Mayweather and McGregor, yeah? Yeah. Why? What do they both do? What do they have in common? They're trash talk. talk. Yeah. They're very good at it, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so Khabib may be a star in his own right, but yeah. not in the way that Conor McGregor has because, has been a star for. Now, you get a certain type of fan base, though. And like, look at Andy Joshua, don't trash talk. Yeah. If you get a certain yeah, level, no. but he's a very good looking But again, no, boxing's got a lot more casuals yeah, yeah. than MMA has at the moment, so that's a, it's, it's a bit of a it, How many people in Russia? In Russia. 150 yeah. million. If, the fo- the if a fraction of them, mm. a fraction of Russia get behind their man, which I feel is about to, ha- about to happen, plus all the casuals, that, oh, he's the man now. They've been desperate for world champions for years. This is what years. I'm saying. And then all the hardcore fans happen with this guy anyway. That's that. That's that's the tripod. Because that's even now, looking, looking at this now, no man, right, that's just had a scrap. I wouldn't. I'm not just saying this because it's McGregor. Because if they did this to Khabib, the other way around, no man that's just had a scrap deserves to be getting Jesus. a two piece from behind, bro. From behind. Because the last thing you need, especially one you've just lost, yeah. the last thing you need is to start getting rushed after you've just yeah, lost no, the fight. You've no, already no, lost the worst. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think Khabib and that are denying that guy. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think that's the real serious violation because, like I said, the first piece that, had water now. The first piece <laughs> that hit him, right, went up to check on the geezer that Conor had hit first, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I think was just set up by the chain of... Who was yeah. it? Who was it? The first I don't know his name. He's one of the fighters. Yeah, that's the one that's yeah, meant to yeah. fight. Because awesome. it looked weird, because he jumped over and, and he's got his... Yeah, 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 but he runs around. He goes and speaks to the geezer. And then the geezer must say, he hit me. But realistically, is Conor wrong for hitting him? Where he was, bro? Like, you're running towards his own corner. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, at that point, it's kind of... It's already gone. At that point, the fight's already started, yeah. and, and it's and, and it, you could be trying to pick and choose. Nah, he's not involved. Bang, and yeah. then you're sleeping, and then you've been hurt. So. Yeah. Before I knew what uh, the Connor's Jiu Jitsu coach said, I would have put it all on Khabib. But because of just the accumulation Definitely. of violation that this man has had to go through on the lead up to this fight, for no real reason. No, no, no. Like, oh, for, okay, for slapping Artem, if we could have gone... Now, if he was getting fucked up, yeah. or, and, and they're making direct insults to him, that's fair enough. They yeah. were trying to hurt him and get, like you said, fam, they tried to get into his head, but yeah. really, they lit a fire under That's him. what they yeah. were doing, they didn't understand, like, they was fueling him rather than yeah. taking him out of his game plan, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, kind of, in, in, in a way, you see where the narrative come, has come from, that kind of got what he deserved. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. in in being a fight fan, watching all of these fights for all mm. all years, MMA, boxing, the last thing I want to see after a fight is a fighter getting attacked by more than one person. Yeah. You know what no, I'm saying? It's mad. But again, I'm sorry, we've got to balance it. If yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, we've got to balance the blame. Like, could be is could be too much at fault. They're yeah. already retracting the blame. This shouldn't happen. Yeah, this shouldn't happen. This shouldn't happen. Him yeah. And yeah. 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 This shouldn't happen. Khabib shouldn't do it. Hundred percent professional sport. All of it. You shouldn't do it. But at the same time, we can't say it's allowable that Connor's making threats to his family. family. Oh, this yeah. stupid. Like, they need to watch. Real life. And the UFC is like in a place. Yeah, in a place of Dagestan, and and if you look at the Dagestan camp in the church like people do get killed in yeah. their sleep like people have died this is not you're not just talking about my postcode your postcode yeah. you're talking about war zones but even if you was just to yeah. talk about that and so threaten yeah. the life of your dad and mom <laughs> but come on man there's yeah. not much more like if somebody threatens the life of your parents you know like there's not much more you know i was disappointed disrespectful in things that you could take man. what i was disappointed in was after the whole fight and after everything that Conor McGregor did uh, a bit of a Ronda Rousey. <laughs> what, didn't not, show up to the Didn't show up, yeah. No, no, no. He's had losses, and you know what I've liked about him the most? Yeah. Like, as being a, as a Conor fan, that, yo, he turns up after, and he tells, this yeah. is what happened, that's what happened, this is what happened, and I'm going to come back. Khabib gave him a chance to go through the back door by doing this stupid shit, yeah, yeah. and he took it, though. That's what happened. Yeah. Man, but but, but I don't think it's as bad as the Ronda Rousey yeah, situation, no, no. because Ronda Rousey didn't post a picture and disappeared to yeah, what's it called. Yeah. I, I expect to see some of Conor McGregor, because he's posted a couple of pictures. I didn't agree with the caption on the picture, we might have lost the fight, but we won the battle. I don't see what battle what you won. What battle? Because you possibly know won? what it would have been better off saying? We might have lost the battle, but the war goes on. Yeah, yeah, I'd have yeah. understood that yeah. more. Saying yeah. we, we lost the fight, but we won the battle, I'm, 
I'm still a bit confused as to that. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's completely done the Ronda Rousey, but I understand what you're saying. We didn't see him in the post fight press yeah, conference. That face up to the question. Yeah, face like, up like, to what you said. If you weren't going to do it in the octagon, I understand that. But yeah. where he has took the way out, what I agree with you is that he didn't turn up to the post fight press conference to answer yeah. the questions. I thought Habib wouldn't turn it's up. It's easy for Ross to, to say that. You now, if, if you talk, if you talk, win or lose. I think you should, if you spoke the shit, you've had the fight, yeah, you speak I, about I, it. I, 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 in a general fight, yeah. in a general fight, but you see the way this has ended now, it's like... No, but if Rose Namahunas didn't want to turn up, I'd understand, because Rose, before a fight, doesn't go on and speak so much. Yeah. Conor McGregor speaks loads. Yeah, nah, 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 nah but then after. look where this has gone, this has gone to a new level right now, so I, I don't know. So, where, so um, where, where should, where should they both go from here for where should the UFC go like obviously where are they gonna go or where should they go both both okay where they're gonna go is if obviously the commissions and that all agree and everything rematch too much money too much footage this of is course. a business sorry, sorry did you see how much Dana recommended lads what? the suspension and the yeah, fine yeah, yeah, six to yeah, no four to six months four to six and months. a quarter of a month that's, that's not a camp. the worst that's yeah. a training yeah month. that's not the you, worst you can't fight in that yeah, time like anyway if they give him that would see the rematch like in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in no April, time that's not April, very long May, you'll see so it's current yeah, yeah. Yeah. no that was good that's, yeah. that's, that's exactly what that's, I said yeah, so cool. like you were saying about the, the we, we should see a rematch obviously the, the, the money yeah. and um, basically the way it's going now is Khabib's a pay-per-view star. Now, him rematching Connor is good for him. You know, you've got people, these mm, casuals, yeah, saying, yeah, no, yeah, oh, uh, uh, Connor doesn't deserve the rematch. And it's not about Connor deserving the rematch. It's actually about Khabib deserving the rematch mm. because he stole his moment from himself. You know yeah, what I mean? With this whole yeah. situation. He needs to go back through this again. Now he can talk. Now he's going to have fans cheering for him. And he's going to be... Having all this money and obviously mm -hmm. like he's gonna make a lot. Like I think kind of still gonna be the A side, which yeah, is why is. I believe that people, it, everybody's turned on Connor all of a sudden. Yeah, right. Which is I believe that's slightly harsh, fam, because a lot of these, a lot of the the notoriety and the publicity that's coming to the UFC, and a lot of the casual fans it's got say over the past how many years? Couple of yeah. years, four years, yeah. three, four years. Connor has brought to the table yeah. the opportunity for these mega money fights. Yeah. Connor brought to the table. Oh, this is what's going to happen, casual fans. And now, yesterday or the day before, Habib has gained loads of casual, casual fans. Yeah, yeah. Now, loads from, of having, from having Habib, everyone that speaks about Habib considered themselves a hardcore fan. Right. Yeah. Now you're going to get. Man that say, yeah, he will bang Mayweather. Yeah. Oh, he won bomb Connor. What nah, is Mayweather <laughs> doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mayweather put a tweet hinting, basically saying, I'll make you rich, but you got to get your ass whooped. Now, Mayweather, yeah, now, 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 to Khabib, <laughs> now, now, th this is what I see. This is, this is basically a man saying, yo, I'm going to kill a shark with a knife. Yeah. But I'm gonna kill it when it washes up on the sand. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. into the shark's waters and kill it with that. Yeah, knife. no, I understand. You can't no, break that, 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 I don't think we'll ever. Do you know, do know what it is? You can't make what they're trying to do. As back. as what Mayweather does. Stay relevant. Stay relevant. Trying to stay relevant right now. Khabib's got the. He sees that Khabib's trending. He yeah. sees that Khabib went from three mil to eleven mil. So let me put my name with his. And what am I relevant? Wow, Yo, Canelo Triple G. That week he started saying I'm fighting Pacquiao again. Yeah, yeah. Because of that week, and it like it was. Why happening. don't we fight uh, Canelo again? Why not take that rematch? At what weight though? I think he's old now. He's old now. I think he's gaining service yeah, 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 to the yeah. what's it called. And not only that, Mayweather. It's gave its service back now, mate. You've had enough money yeah. out of the public, yeah, yeah. yeah, right? You know, just keep your legacy. You were the greatest defensive fighter, especially of my era. Yeah. Of what I have saw with my own eyes, I haven't saw somebody better at, and, and me and you have debated this before, yeah. Um, I haven't saw somebody better at the, the skill, the art of boxing, the sweet science Hitting of boxing. And not getting yeah, hit. yeah, like, yeah, the defense. But, yeah. but like I say, He's paid his service, what and I feel like guy? it's paid its service back. The, the one that um, went to Germany, was it Germany or Russia, and trained somebody to beat Joel Lewis? Oh, I can't. Uh, he, got, he got done for the... 
He got done for being part of the alcohol, uh, the alcohol prohibition, 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 prohibition years and years ago. Jack Johnson, is it Jack Johnson? I don't. I yeah, think he, I think that's who it is. The first it? black one. Yeah, the big heavyweight. I, I think he was the first person to implement that defensive style. Sorry for going off topic, but yeah, no, no. but a certain man will know. But yeah, um, so basically, yeah, to, to go off the the whole Mayweather situation, so we are gonna see a rematch between these two. Most, and I feel bad for Tony Ferg. 11, 11 fight win streak. You know totally everything. Deserves nah, nah, you know why I feel bad for him because Conor McGregor deserves all this money yeah. and he deserves all this notoriety and all of this. Because Dana says, look what he does. He yeah. fights anyone. He, yeah, fights, he does. gets finishes. He does that. He Tony does. Ferguson has been doing that. Yeah. And say if you can't get Conor money, I don't think he should get Conor money because he don't sell Conor tickets. No. But he should get the opportunity now. If yeah. we're gonna be fair, yeah, about nah, that should happen. Yeah, but but let's be realistic. Yeah, no, no, no. Because this is what, what Conor has what done made a difference. for the UFC. Yeah, he can right, get that. He can get that, and and Ferguson's just gonna have to try and take that. There's still, there's, the there's big fights. Now, I won't campaign. I'll, 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 I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Ferguson is the number one contender, one hundred percent. Yo, but I don't think Kevin Lee even should be in there. You see, Conor in the the pound for pound, where he is now. Eight for something. Yo, drop six six places, man. Yeah, he shouldn't have really been two for nothing. Two years never, never. for not fighting. Now, even years. off what we've saw of him, is he pound for pound number two? So you're telling me he was better than like the Mike Massey's at the Yeah, time. The, nah, come on, man. You gotta be honest, man. Like even even now, I'm still struggling to say that Mike Mass mm. lost that fight. If you know yeah. what I'm saying, so uh, to say that he was pound for pound was a bit of a. Kevin Lee called out, uh, well, saying he's accepting the fight with Iquinta. Please do, that, please yeah, do, because exactly. you, you know my thoughts on Kevin Lee at the moment. Yeah, yeah, right. Still. Kevin I mean, Lee, yeah, right. He seems very talented, but what we've saw is a lot more talk than fighting. Than action. You know, like, he, he's been to, he, he was saying that he wants Justin Gaethje. You know, to me, you, that's a chance. That's a gimme. That's is a he gimme. to give me, man? That's like, a gimme fight. Ally Quinter's already beat you, and he wanted to fight. That's why I'm not going for back. McGregor. When McGregor, when Gaethje came out of McGregor's mouth, I was like, nah. Nah, no, but he won it back by fighting this. Khabib. Yeah, well, they, well, they he, won it. Oh, he, he was throwing they, names out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, action yeah. was he fought Khabib, and and, and you couldn't have got yeah, no yeah, more yeah, tougher yeah. than that. That's, yeah. And and Kevin Lee at the moment, like he was talking about him. Who else was he talking about? He was Quare talking, before. Quare. Ma there is now, Tony Ferguson. Half a name now. No, no, but this is where it's not right. Well, is a lot of Yeah. There's, there's, there's Tony Ferguson right now. Yeah. Tony, look, like you've said Tony Ferguson's the number one oh, match, yeah. So if you're talking about the champion and wanting to fight the champion, you, you have to go for the, the, yeah. a man that's already beat. Yes, yeah. there's, yeah. there's, there's two names people, that there's already two, beat, yeah. And and you're trying to choose Gaethje or Poirier. Now nah, you've got with all the talk that you talk as well, Kevin Lee, because mm. we've heard him. Khabib won't be able to do this to me. One direction. He's, he's even saying now I've not seen anything. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's he's saying all of that and and um. Even before the fight, he was saying that Conor was going to piece him up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. after Kevin he dropped Lee, him and he saw that he hasn't saw nothing new. Kevin Lee has got like so much potential. It's unreal. He's a, a well-rounded fighter. Mm. Good, good. Like that's why I believe he's sick. he can do well against somebody I think like he's decent, Lee. But, but I don't have to see he's it. got a poor gas tank. He's, no, he's got a poor yeah, gas tank. He can't make weight. If yeah. you've got a poor gas tank, remember against Barbosa, he yeah. don't make weight. But yeah. Wikipedia and box, you forget all that. Yeah. You fought someone that missed weight. That's a big, big real elite fight. You have real elite fighters in the UFC don't have a poor gas, gas tank. tank. Oh. You can't have a poor gas tank and be the, like one of the elites in the UFC because, as we know, it's not just hands like in boxing. You've got so many different elements to deal with. It's sure. like it's hard to yeah. uh, look. Look, even which is why losses even, are accepted a bit more yeah. within MMA. If you know, fat man. Fat body, yeah, dad bod, Daniel Cormier has unreal cardio. Yeah, but just yeah, to fighter. be elite. Yeah, well, literally, be. like, he's, he's, people don't understand, like, what, what you get with a lot of boxing casuals is they don't understand, like, that if the heavyweight champ of boxing fights the heavyweight UFC mm. champ, obviously you can get caught with a punch because every fight starts standing, but generally this is what's going to happen, and they're going to be drowning the moment, the moment the, the UFC fighter got a hold of them, yeah. they'd be drowning, if you know what I'm saying, like, and... And and that's like with Mayweather, that's where he's cheating, trying to bring these like into the into the boxing ring because he knows if it was a real forget even the the the, the, uh, the UFC fight if they fought on the street he wouldn't have a chance against any against McGregor or Khabib or and that's why um, you know Paulie Malignaggi yeah. I didn't even listen to his response and, yeah, he, and yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got a long interview about twenty five 
Can you fight Khabib? Could you fight McGregor in this way? Well, then don't even speak about yeah. it, bro. Yeah, that, that fight might happen. I'd, I'd love to see the boxing. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's more. Happen. I'd more be interested to watch that as a purist than the Mayweather one because yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, everyone's dead, man. It's yeah, dead. like there's actually a bit more of a chance. Yeah, there's too much of a goal thing, and if McGregor couldn't really get close to Mayweather, like Khabib's got zero. Like Khabib won't even entertain it. Not even for a second. They've asked him, and he's like, mm. yeah, like it's, it's like not. He's not man, silly. Yeah, he's, he's not silly, like. I can't take him down. What? What for? What for? What's the <laughs> problem? He's gonna punch with the yeah. He's not silly. I can't. So what's the point? He's taking down OK strikers in mm. MMA. And I remember on the night in my house we was having like a huge debate, and basically we, I was like, because now with what Khabib did, he would allowed people to take away from what's it called? And you saw Michael Bisping straight after the fight. He's destroyed his legacy. Remember, I paused and I was that like, was over the top. Dude, that he's not destroying his legacy. legacy. You're, like, saying, relax, you're saying, you're saying, you're telling me, jumping over the cage after a fight has destroyed his legacy. Not, not, not his win. No. Because I would have been more with you yeah, if you'd yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. His his legacy Look means all the shit Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. You jumped over it's his fuck. Sh- Mike yeah. Tyson. Yeah. Supposedly raped a bird, found bitter man's ear off, and people are still. Well, you know I'm going with the bitter man's ear off because that's what we saw. Yeah. So he beat a man's ear. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And even now, even now, this is the thing that gets me. And, and we kind of missed it out earlier. Why are they speaking about visa issues? Yeah. Why wasn't it a visa issue for Conor O'Keefe when yeah. Conor threw the dolly through the through the thing? Like there was never no talk of him yeah. ever being able to fight. No, get in the country. Yeah. The only talk was was he going to be able to fight in New York? New York. Yeah. It was never yeah. was he going to not be able to get in the country? Why can't Khabib even that just for jumping over the cage? Why is everybody speaking about visas? What has visas got to do? Why is it all right? To be speaking about visas, I think, with Khabib, I think we're in the all clear now with Khabib. I think that, that whatever the masses, the powers that be, they know. You know what? There's money here. Yeah, no, nah, but, they, but, but Vegas, my point is, in New York, wherever these two are gonna do it again, and it's gonna make a shit. My point is money. though, it wasn't even spoke about of visas. No, so I think it was with, with McGregor. No, nah, it was never in about actual. N- not like these mainstream so yeah. like when Joe Rogan heard about it, he won't be like he won't like. Oh, well, the most like intelligent man might be saying. It, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Was like, the, like the average, the consensus yeah. wasn't. These not weren't just saying country. visas. These yeah. not weren't just talking. Not about one of these people was saying that McGregor would never be able to get into America again. Yeah. None of them there, man. Mm. Not not one of the UFC people. It was. Is he going to be able to fight in New York? Whereas these ones, it's like, are they going to be able to get visas? And he jumped mm. on the cage. Let's not. If I'm not going to over exaggerate what Connor said. He, Connor, when he was um, saying things to Khabib, like you're backwards, what's it called? He was insinuating, we know what he was doing, he was yeah. indirect. But in that, chilling in Jehenna, we was like, but there it is. Yeah, you see, you see yeah, that though? Yeah, yeah. With that, I didn't. I no, didn't, no, no, I want to speak about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mind that. You, oh, know, didn't. I, you know when he's saying chilling in Jehenna, and yeah. he's even said things like, I'm a god. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Obviously, I would never say that I'm a god and I'll whoop god and all these yeah. mad things. Yeah. I don't we can't know. meet them things with hate because yeah. he doesn't feel how I feel. He don't know what yeah. I yeah. know. I can think, yo, you're stupid for saying mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But he's. It's not a violation to me if yeah. you're gonna say that because because yeah. what I believe is what you say and God will deal with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't yeah, meet that, that with... in the translation of it. It's saying chill in hell. In hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go to hell. Well, if well, that's what you want to say, bro. Yeah. Then that's your. Well, that shows, are you offended? Yeah. That shows what he's focusing on. Like he could have said chilling in yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The, when he said that chilling in Jehennam, it kind of made but, the yeah, game yeah, drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 he said many things. There were some things that I was a bit the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done it to every fight he's been in with. He's he's told the line a bit. Do you know what I mean? That's why at the end of the day, it's it's entertaining. So yes. that's why I kind of take it with a pinch of salt. But I know exactly what he was trying to do. Like yeah. he said, he knew what he was trying to do. But I tried to take religion out of it. Oh, yeah. Just like, you know what? It's entertainment sake. That's why he yeah. said in the cage, you know, it's just business. Okay, maybe for you, McGregor, it's business. But it's not business. For yeah, him. nah. But, it's well, not business it, for him. but again, when he said in the cage, it's just business. We're not speaking of him just talking about his religion. We're speaking about him speaking about killing his dad, his family. Yeah, it's too yeah. much. That's, that's too much. really. They need to watch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 Everyone like, knew he was being too like, much. He like, caught a plane. You know, like, come on, lads. We've you've had a situation before as a young lad when you was young where you probably got with a group of your friends yeah. and, and landed on somebody <laughs> in a retaliation attack, yeah. We, did, we didn't have a plane, no. Never had a plane. Never had a plane, never had a plane, never had a plane no. <laughs> but that's what happened. He, he retaliated with his boys, 
So where did you think the narrative was going, yeah, UFC? Yeah. It was only going down that road. Yeah, no, like, Dana, Dana was glorifying it. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, he come with these yeah. crazy Irish boys packed up a plane. Would he glorify the, the if, if it was fair, yeah. if we're going to be fair, would he glorify he could be jumping on that? Wait, wait, wait. Do you think Khabib like exactly. was ever going to be able to get in the country yeah. again? Do you, do you think Khabib could go anywhere near a plane? Fucking do not about landing to America first. Imagine Khabib. <laughs> Yo! It's not happening. Walla yalla, walla. Walla yalla, walla. Before we go though and lock it off, before we gather. Rematch. There's gonna be a rematch, let's assume. Yeah. There's gonna be a rematch. Great for Khabib. Great for Khabib. Now, I don't, I don't mean, let's forget all the politics and yeah. everything. Let's go back sorry, to the point. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, before we go into it. <laughs> do you it. think yeah. a rematch is a good idea for Conor Lads? No, I, 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 I extremely I, think it's a I, I never thought it was like people that said like the casual said, oh like Connor don't deserve this and that. I'm like, forget about Connor, Khabib, all that money and his 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 fucking celebrity status is just gonna grow because everyone's 100%. gonna see everyone's gonna see Connor's gonna walk in, there's gonna be less cheers for him than there normally is. Yeah. Khabib's gonna walk in, there's gonna be unbelievable response. But I, I honestly is is it a good idea yeah, for Connor? I think Connor can afford Another loss to Habib because MMA and you can't have that. But I don't. I was just gonna say that. Not right now. Not right now. Back to back. In a row. Can you afford it in a row? That's a lot of building that is back, bro. Look look at Connor's four biggest fights both Diaz, Mayweather, and Habib. And now he's won one out of the four. Now we can break it down. Yeah, Mayweather. Even the two two Diaz? Because it's 170. No, but it's in his sport. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, no, 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 it's not us, it's not us, because we're watching any kind of oh, yeah, 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 We're yeah. talking how it affects the casuals mm-hmm. that make it the, the billion, the, yeah. the multi-million power. Mm-hmm. And we're going to watch it. No, because they want to be able to ask you. That's what I mean. And their patience at some point will snap. Yeah, yeah, at some yeah, yeah. We will watch it. No, I can even, I can make massive no, games. You know, like, the Diaz one, it's, we can't. The evidence for what you're saying is in boxing. This is why they build yeah. up. This is why yeah. Tyson Fury fought Sefa Sefaria mm-hmm. and Pionetta yeah. and didn't just fight Deontay no. Wilder straight away no. in his first fight back. Yeah. Because boxing because has a 200 year history. Even, and they know even, what even, even people call it ring rust, yeah, but that's real life, man. If, uh, it, it's hard to explain, but if you haven't done something, should I say, if you haven't done something for a very long time, like football, you know what I'm saying, if you haven't played for a year, you're going to have to play a couple of sessions before you get back to where you were. I need three, four yeah. weeks anyway. Yeah, 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 nah, nah, but you're going to have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just com- well, the competitiveness, like, people think it's just, really worst, it's just a physical thing, it's not, it's the whole competitiveness in you, yeah. and I've seen a lack of it with, with even the, right even the, I, 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 no, I think, we didn't, I think we didn't get a chance to see it because the wrestling sapped him. Yeah. Yeah, it, the, the, that takedown happened so quickly that we can't see how sick and fresh fresh and, 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 and before the like, fight we said that we yeah. said Khabib needs that takedown and Connor needs to not to be taken, taken down but what yeah. we saw was Khabib understood that yeah. and Connor didn't Connor felt like if he got took down he was going to be able to put his arm around wherever he was putting his arm yeah, and do yeah. something about it but what I will yeah. say what I will say for a rematch is in a rematch it could only be better for Connor yeah. That, I, I don't mean better the, the end result, but yeah, you know, performance yeah, 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 yeah. If we're going to give his performance now, what we're going to give it? I'm going to give it what a three out of ten. Yeah, not not to be harsh to him. No, but being he, did, he didn't that's get to do realistic. anything. He didn't get to. No, do that's anything. realistic. Yeah. That kind of the time that night. Team loads, team 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 loads, team team loads team the gloves, the shorts, the knee in the head. Yeah, no, no, no. But all of that, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. It happens. Khabib's held onto a cage before. Yeah, everybody does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the ref was a bit of a about that to be fair because he was allowing it allowing it yeah, yeah. and Habib's telling him while he's fighting man yo, fight. Habib's telling him while he's fighting yo he's holding my shorts yeah. look around look around he goes yo his foot's on the cage and he, he, he went like that and then left it like yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. kind of didn't take and the toe, the toe was still there yeah. and it, he tried to get it he couldn't he didn't even give him a warning yeah, he just yeah, says yeah, okay yeah. so it's not worth his job he really. pretty much saw that he was getting more than it weren't helping yeah. him anyway you know like so, that so he was trying anything because he wasn't getting anywhere anywhere so the only thing that can happen well the Two things that I think can happen is that Habib does that again. Yeah. Early gets a takedown, and I don't think he's got the conditioning to fight it off. Or he doesn't get taken down straight away, and yeah. something happens. Yeah. That's what I've also that Khan has got the chance of doing something better if he don't get taken what, down what, straight what, away. What we can say is taking into account what Charles Sonnen in that video what he said. What I really liked 
was the fact that we saw Connor adjust and adapt before yeah. and come back better and beat Nate Diaz. I think he had a glimpse of success there though. Like he was busting his face up and thinking, yo, well, I, need yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to yeah, make yeah, 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 nah, nah, I need nah. to make little tweaks. Yeah, no, no, no. Understandable, but with this now, I think it's more tweaks in the game plan. And again, I don't, I, I'm not saying that if he tweaks the game plan, he could win because yeah. the outcome could be exactly the same. Could Khabib just could just could just have his number. That's just mm -hmm. how it is. Sometimes with fights, styles make fights. That's why we say. That's why that's what it's said. Yeah. But I think, yeah, right. Connor is an elite athlete. I do think that. I don't all of a sudden not think that overnight. No, I think he's an elite. Level. No, no, no. no, 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 no I, let me explain level. my point then. To be an elite athlete, yeah, right, he stepped in the ring with Mayweather, bro, a court Mayweather, yeah. with a counter uppercut. That isn't, you. no average human no. being does that, bro. Yeah. You're not an average guy to be able to do that. Yeah. Because even if Mayweather had his foot off the gas slightly, we've all spoke about it before, and we've all agreed, a counter uppercut is a point that you, you're not letting somebody yeah. catch you with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I believe that Connor is an elite fighter. Yeah. Whether, uh, whether I'm going to be a fighter, fighter, not an elite athlete. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. I think he's an elite fighter. That's the difference. That's the difference with that's Khabib. True. That's true. That Khabib's an elite in everything. He's elite yeah. everything. Like, like Tony Ferguson. I, I don't, I'll be honest, man. I think he's a top fighter. Yeah. He's not an elite fighter. He's a top fighter. Well, he's yeah. got his jiu jitsu, and that's elite yeah. to me. Have, have we saw anybody that's elite? Before we get, I'm not gonna go crazy on the Khabib trade in this sense yet, right? Yeah. Have we saw him fight anybody that can wrestle yet? That might be able to force it to keep standing. Was that that Alec 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 is he a real Alec high level wrestler? Because this he is what is? I said. No, no, no. To break it down, yeah. he's a Sambo world champion, yeah? yeah? Now, have we saw him face the equivalent in wrestling, like the Daniel yeah. Cormier's? Because yeah. obviously, there's something that the, the wrestling can work against these Sambo guys because otherwise, there'd be Sambo guys Sambo in every way. Yeah, yeah, it don't dominate everything. Yeah. So, I think. Like, like the Kevin Lee, I'm not saying Kevin Lee at all because I don't think Kevin Lee's got the gas. Uh, it'll be interesting. But, that's but you know, he can, keep it, he can force that's him to stay yeah, standing yeah, for a yeah, while. Yeah. It, it'll be interesting to see Khabib fight somebody with a bit of a with a real elite wrestling background that can make the fight stand in. I think that's an interesting fight. Because I, I think, think I, I think the people that are even like Quinton, look how well he's done off yeah. a couple of days' notice. Give him a, a training camp. But like you say, before he just gets the fight, he's got to win his way up because there's people in the way like. Ferguson's etc. Poirot's. I just, I, I agree Khabib. I think there's people that might be on Khabib's level, close to his level in grappling, but I don't know if there's any that have translated it to MMA. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, so if you just get a wrestling match with someone, like a Jordan Burrow, you're kind of mad either. I understand Khabib. that, I'm because that I saw uh, Daniel Cormier and Kay Velasquez Cormier. produce it before, yeah. it's, not, it's not impossible. Nah, it's definitely not impossible. So, so yeah, not. until I see him fight somebody, with what I consider there has to be high level on this. Because One. even Ike Quinta, after round three, he struggled to take him down. And you know what? If you're telling me, I, I didn't know Ike Quinta had a. Um, a you are telling yeah. me about that now. Yeah. You know what? It showed. Ike Quinta's cardio didn't sap from the round. No, 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 no. He's doing that. 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 Like, it's stupid. Yeah. No, no, Iaquinta, Iaquinta would get more tired from a punching fight than a wrestling fight because yeah. he's used to his body. He's good with his hands, he's good boxing as well, he's done boxing, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. But um, like, the, the wrestling, these that like, can do. Oh, that's what I was saying about Khabib, he could do this as a wrestling match all night. Cause he's oh, just I like this now. Possession. Connor fought 1-4-5, uh, went up and fought Eddie Alvarez. I don't think it's such a good idea. I'm not saying he won't win. Because he may win, I don't know how it'll work out, but I don't know if it'd be such a good idea to just go up and fight T. Woods. Fuck! <laughs> 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 it wouldn't be. 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 I was saying no to. Even when I was defending uh, McGregor to, to Antics, and Antics goes to me, what's written about Tyrone Woodley? I was like, mate, keep Conor McGregor. Yeah, I, yeah. I knew even when Conor McGregor was T. Woods. Superman, that Tyrone Woodley no, no. was not a good idea. But T, T Woods is probably the greatest welterweight of all time. Yeah. Yeah. One of, uh, definitely yeah. one of yeah. them. Yeah. I think he's one of the most Eddie underrated fighters. Yeah. So the step up that you would be taking today is you're fighting the king, like the one of the goats. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Conor McGregor could never stepped up and fought one of the goats in Eddie Alvarez. Even yeah, though he would have fought. He just has. I feel Khabib. Tyrone Woodley. No, no, it's not taking it away. It's not taking away. But. 
trying to beat a, right, if any man from one five. Aldo and Aldo's goat. Nah, nah, but if any man from one five. But I need Aldo that beat Aldo as well. Nah, but if, if he, any man from one five. five nah, 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 but if any man from I believe any man from one five five that could that could stand with Woodley for more than a round, I think is an absolute. I don't think can, any of them can do it. He hits way too hard. Way, way too hard. Too yeah, hard. yeah, yeah. No, no, see no, 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 I'm, I'm not saying that has to do it. I, I, yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, but because what you got to think here, right, is Khabib, he's struggling at this weight. So, if he's he made it the last few times. But he's he struggling. He, he openly admits it himself, fam. He, he has, hasn't made mm -hmm. weight numerous times. So, saying he made it, he still struggles. So, he's at that point where. But would he struggle he might, that one time? Yeah, but he's at that point where he might have to go. Would he might have to go whatever? I think they're going to do 165. I think Connor's going to make it happen. I don't know, man. And I think that interview would seem I don't think it's good for Connor. Yeah. I don't think that way. Yeah, no, 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 but he has a title <laughs> fight. He has a title fight. <laughs> Against who? Whoever you want. Like, if the, no, whoever the oh, champion oh, at one fight. From fight. listening to Diana, Diana didn't seem interested in that. But it's not going to, in the end, it's not going to be Diana. It's not going to be Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it won't happen. People are going to be running away from the vision. I'm not that happen in the next. When, yeah. are you, when you're saying it's going to happen, when are you thinking that? In their careers, I reckon, in the next so, one. So, McGregor next two years. wants so, it, and the next two years. Two years I don't think we'll have a 165 division in the next, say, 24 months. Uh, it depends months. on how long McGregor stays for. I think he's got the one that enough power well, to make I, it I don't, I, don't, I don't know. If, I it, don't stays, if it stays Diaz Poiré level, then... Because Dana, when I was listening to Dana, he, he kind of what he was saying was true. About uh, running away from yeah, the bounce. Yeah, yeah. Can't win a battle here. You can't win it. You're going to just go there. Okay, forget this. I'll go to that. I'm going to go there. Don't get me wrong. No, I'm not against having more weight classes in the UFC. I think a whole stone is yeah. way too much. Great. If it's too much in boxing, which yeah, is just man. only dealing with hands, yeah. how can you have so many different weapons, weapons on the body? But it's 15 pounds. It is too much. Too but much. The, what I'm saying from off Dana's attitude, I don't see it yeah, anytime but, but, soon. But, but why the commissions and that are feeling pressure to do it is because how many people are missing weight and massive people fights. People are nearly dying. Yeah, yeah, and now, but you know, the last, I think it's the last 12 fighters that have missed weight in the UFC have all won. I think it was this year or the year before. Every single one of the fighters Yeah, that no, missed but weight one of the other won. solutions that they was going for was taking back the weigh-ins yeah, to yeah, return yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, that's what they was going to do. Yeah, so they're not just saying what you're yeah, on about. Yeah. There's numerous solutions to what's going on. And because, of, like I say, I heard what Dana said, he doesn't seem... But he's backtracked on every single thing he's Yeah, he said, said there was never going to be a woman in mm. the octagon, but that's what I'm saying. He said right Mayweather, now, he said Mayweather McGregor, no yeah, chance. Yeah, never, yeah. not in a million billion years. He's, he's, but why he don't want to do it, and why the UFC don't want to do it, is that if they have another title, that means no matter what, no matter who the dickhead is that's a champion, they have, have to pay, pay him more championship wage. You have to pay him more. That's mm, what it is. I think that can be a double sided because in in the end, it's gonna have to. Um, it will. They'll get the money back from that, won't they, in the mm -hmm. long term? Because they end up making more off these fighters than the fighters mm -hmm. make off them. And that was one of the things I respected Tyron Woodley for before when he was on about. Um, Conor McGregor just after the Mayweather fight Kevin Lee was like he has to come back and he has to fight he either has to fight Khabib or he has to fight one of us you know what I'm saying and Tyron Woodley, that, sorry. Uh, yeah. Kevin Lee oh, and Tyron yeah. Woodley was basically saying he doesn't have to fight no one because what you see about this game is people come in the game and the game beats them yeah, he's yeah. came in the game and beat the beat game, the game. Yeah. Yeah. if you know what I'm saying yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's came in the game and he's beat the game if you know what I'm saying so he doesn't have to do nothing but yo I think has it been about an hour now? It's yeah, been about an hour. hour. It's been about three. three. I think that's why I thought, like, yo, where was it gonna go? This mm. like the missus is gonna kill me. <laughs> so yeah, um, where should we leave it on? So obviously we're gonna we're gonna see. You really wanted to know what next? We have to wait to see. Yeah, I think because we never got post fight nothing, we can't gauge nothing from. Well, gonna be what I'd want to see, what I'd want to see, is kind of not fight Khabib straight away. Yeah, but they have as, to. as the mentality of the man. If somebody fight, else yeah. beats McGregor, he's fucked. He's definitely finished. If he goes and fights Nate and gets beat, do you know what yeah, I mean? Who's fine. he gonna? It's who's he gonna them, fight? One of them. If, if, fight, you can't, fight game. if yeah. you can't beat Nate, then you're gonna. You're you never. But, but we've seen him not beat Nate. We've seen him have a very close fight with Nate, even the second time. He won. He won. I want to see. I was saying to him. I want to see what six pack Nate's on. No, no. I, I. Well, I know, I know, I know. There's no That's question it. whether he won that second fight. No, he fight. definitely won he it. Completely he completely won it. Like, people try and say, the odd DS fan try and say he won it. He won rounds one, yeah. two, very clearly. Yeah, he dropped him two, numerous two, times yeah. in both rounds. Yeah, and, and, he, one round and he dropped him three times, was it? Was it? Yeah.